you say, in order to control private cars, tax those uh, who buy more than two cars higher or have a higher registration fee. There are those who say, let's follow the Singaporean uh, Singapore experience, put tolls. <laughs> you know, uh, when uh, for any users of prime road, all those things are being considered on its own. You cannot say stop cars, you know, stop buses, stop justice. You have to complement this with what? An efficient public transport system. Okay. Now, when we're looking at our buses, the way they behave, mm. and they say sometimes it's because of this boundary system. Are we going to do something about the boundaries? Uh, we are looking very closely into that now in so far as buses are concerned. Uh, soon, uh, in the next few weeks, we will be we implementing a point-to-point. -point. Uh, different buses design, more intelligent. Uh, you have Wi-Fi, you have CCTV, uh, you have uh, radio, you have comfortable seats, aircon, you know, point-to-point, -point, meaning there will be bus that will be designated to travel from point A to point B without a stop or pick up in between okay. with a dedicated uh, uh, route. So you, so you get around all these old bus companies that are yes. still doing the old style. Yes, and uh, I'm also inclined in now pushing for uh, motor vehicles, public motor vehicles that is environment friendly that will address the carbon footprints in the environment, and I'm talking of electric cars. Flights are always delayed, uh, and we have a problem, of course, with our airports. What are your plans for our airport system? The delays flying out and coming in is caused, number one, by the configuration of our runways. It's cross. Yeah. It's not parallel. Fast flying terminals, Effective runways are all parallel. Ours, unfortunately, is old, old, is old style. style cross. That's a no-no. The second is the slatting. The slatting is the schedule of planes that come in, uh, that, that goes out. You know? uh, what happens is we have an average of 40 slats per hour. But then you have general aviation at the Nea. General aviation takes out of 40 around uh, 5 to 6. That adds to the congestion. So we plan to remove general aviation. Okay. And they're going to Sangli? That is being studied now. If you put it in Sangli right now, which is also a good option, then you will have to wait. Because you have to do certain improvements at Sangli, whether you limit it for general aviation or you consider it for an international airport. Number two is, we want the general aviation out yes. right away to immediately address the congestion. We can use Clark. Clark, yeah. Clark is ready to accept the jets. General aviation consists of two parts, basically. The jets and the helicopters. You know. The jets you can transfer immediately to Clark without waiting for the completion of uh, structures that will be uh, needed also when you do Sangli. Yeah. Uh, you, you understand? Yeah. So you can do a combination of both, immediately start the removal of general aviation by using Clark. And simultaneous with this, you can develop Sangli, so that when it's both ready, then we have greater facilities. You know. so Additional you to that. So you have, the, you have the rail that is being... Uh, These are being done now. Prepared uh, for Clark. Yes, there are also, there will be movements now transferring some flights from Naia mm -hmm. to Clark. Okay? We are also doing uh, nitrated capabilities in other local airports that will also help decongest Naia. So, airports around Metro Manila? Yes, you can fly in now at 12 o'clock midnight, you know, or 1 o'clock by making them nitrated. 